Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Once again, Merry Christmas and the Happy New Year in advance. I can't hear you. I say Merry Christmas and the Happy New Year in advance. Thank you. Let me acknowledge the presence of our viewers, those who are always watching us. Wednesday, Sunday, we thank God for your life. No one can stand alone and no one can win alone. Even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He had that, you know, nature of God but he had to recruit 12 people to stand with him. Physically, spiritually, he can stand alone. Thank you for our sisters within Zambia and out Zambia, I mean outside Zambia. I saw your message last Sunday from our sisters who are confirming that no, we are part of it now, we are watching it from UK, we thank God for, for your support. Remember that we are opening the TV station. I promise you that I'll keep on talking about this program because our people must you know, must know that yes, we announced this TV issue last year, but there was nothing to show that the TV is is open, but now, since the government has given us that you know document, this is the more reason why I'll keep on reminding you, reminding you that no one can stand alone, even to our partners. We thank God for your life. Even where you could not see this TV station open soon, you were there supporting Promise TV. Now, your labor is not in vain. You will be proud of what you are doing to this land. Never you despise a humble beginning. Everything big start what? Even when you plant you know, vegetables within your compound, it is the care that you put on that vegetables which can make that cabbage to grow big. But if you neglect the cabbage, you are not putting fertilizer, you are not even watering that one, very soon you see that the cabbage is now dying slowly, slowly. Before you know it, it is gone. Same, same to what we are doing now. Our care, our effort, our sacrifice in this journey will make this land to be known all over the world. You may not believe me now. You may not agree with me. But I can assure you and promise you that Jesus is not a man that you can limit with your thought or your experience through human beings. Slowly but sure, his capacity and his ability to grow beyond human beings' expectation. There, you hear your brother who says, yes, I was there. I used to be, in fact, it was us who started this because they have seen the fruit of that journey. Thank you very much to our brothers and sisters within and outside Zambia. This, your brother, who make you proud that indeed there's a brother in Zambia who is carrying the mission of Jesus. 
Let's stand together and lift the Zambian flag together for healing and deliverance. Amen. Mm. This is the last Wednesday in this year, 2023. You never see another Wednesday again. So you treat this one, it's special what? Wednesday. You never see another Wednesday in this year, 2023. This is the last one. We're about to enter 2024 by the grace of God. So open your heart so that we share the love of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the book of James. James chapter 2. Verse 18. The Bible reads, But someone will say, You have faith. I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. 19. You believe that there is one God, good. Even demons believe that and shudder. 20. You foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? 21. Was not our father Hablam considered Elishas for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? 22. You see that his faith and his action we are working together. And this faith was made completely by what he did. Praise the Lord. Faith and your action must work together. Faith and your action must do what? Work together. It is not enough to say, I have faith in God. Even a witch can confess that. Anyone, it is very easy for anyone to say, I have faith in God. But if your faith and your action are not working together, you don't know what you are talking about. And the Bible will prove you wrong. When we talk about faith, we are talking about the practical love of God in us. Last Sunday to Monday we are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Which shows that God did not confess that I love you people and end there. No. His action and his confession were working together by saying I love you. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only, only, one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall never be put to shame. God did not confess love without action. He did not confess love without action. After saying that, the action followed his confession. This is why you need to know people of God. The way the people of this world confess about Christianity and the way we confess as his children is not the same. We are more of on the placard side than just a mere confession. If our action and our faith, they are working together, I don't think so. In this world, anyone can say we are suffering. My children cannot go to school. This and that. I cannot pay house lentils. No. Because you feel for your brother and your sister. Praise the Lord. You follow me because of time. But someone who say you are faith. I have this. Show me your faith without this. 
and I will show you my faith by my deeds. These are two individuals. This one is saying, I have faith. This one is saying, if you show me your faith, I will show you my faith by my deeds. There are people who are good to carry Bible every Sunday. There are people who are good to go and talk about the history of the Bible on the streets. But their faith is not working together with the action. Because when you preach, you need to placard is what you preach. There is no way you can preach to others and you want them to show you the placard work of the world. And you, yours is to preach. After you preach, you think you are righteous. No. Let's go. Verse 19. You believe that there is one God. Good. Even demons believe that and they shudder. You believe that there is one God. The Bible says that even evil spirit believe that. In fact, for me, I can remove this belief to say, you know that there's one God. Even if a spirit knows that there's what? One God. Because when you believe, you possess what you believe. If, if a spirit can stand where you are standing, at the same level, you cannot stand where your father Jesus is standing. You are standing where the demons, you know, standing, they are confessing that, yes, we know that this one is the son of God. You too, you are saying, yeah, Jesus is the son of God. But look at where you are. The Bible says you believe there is one God. That is good. Even demons believe that. What is the difference? If demons can you not believe that there's one God, the only thing that can make you know a difference between you and the demons is the placard work of the word in your life. Because Satan cannot obey his word. Demons cannot placard is the love of God. Their job is to kill. They know that there's one God, but their job is to kill. You, when you believe, your job is to save. Are you layer people of God? Their job is to do what? To kill. Your job, my job, is to save. It is not enough for anyone to say, I'm a child of God. Jesus came to this life. He had no farm. He had no business. No company. But he was able to feed the people. What you have in your hands, God can use that one to save that life outside there. Jesus did not look here nor there to say, ah, but look, I'm just here. I have, he said, no, I have the power. People of God, this Christianity we are confessing every day without obeying the word of God to the extent where people now want to serve the purpose of this world, not the purpose of God. The reason why we are here or the reason why we go to church, it is salvation. If you go to church, and then at the end of the day, you go to hell. It's as good as not to go to church. Church and political parties are not the same. Our focus is to unite the world. Our focus is to win souls. Political parties, their focus is to assume power. That is business. That is what? This is why in politics, you cannot favor your opponent. No, it doesn't work. Even if you are my brother, you are on the other side. We are fighting for this seat. I will not give you a chance. That is politics. 
But when it comes to Christianity, we are brothers keeper. We are sisters keeper. Whether my brother, my sister doesn't like me, I am a child of God. I may not talk or say anything, but my action will make my brother or my sister to know that I'm a good person. Without even talking. This is uh, 20. You foolish person. Do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? I don't want to talk about this one. You can interpret it by yourself. Let me go to 21. Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did? When he offered his own son or his son Isaac on the altar. Faith, love, hope, they are like this. Faith and love, hope, they are like this. The way you can interpret the word, action, in other words, is love. Your works can be seen by what you are doing to your brother or your sister. Like Father Abraham. This is the man who was crying for a child. This is the man who was having problems with the wife. To the extent whereby he was even pushed by the wife to say, can you sleep with our maid so that at least there will be a child in this house? Abraham said, no, let us wait for God. She said, what? I need a child in this house. The man was forced. And here is Aga became pregnant. The same woman who was, you know, on the forefront to say, sleep with her. The same woman turned against him, the child and the mother. As it is not enough, Abram was called by God Almighty. After having all these challenges, all this agony, and you are getting old, a demand from the throne of mercy. I want your son. This is the man who is wealth. Cattles are all over the compound. Gods are all over. Sheep are all over. But the only child that this man had at the old age, the love of God, tested the heart of Abraham. Let me see if Abraham loved me more than material things that I gave this man. Because Abraham was, you know, always telling the wife about to say, let us wait. God is faithful. God is what? And God proved him to say yes. I will show you that I am a faithful God by making sure that you become a mother and a father at your old age because I love you and my love must be practical. But my wife and she gave birth to a son. And God said, I want your son. Abraham did not look here nor there to say, but why God? Why? You said there will be a father of so many nations. Now one child, you want to claim even this one. Does it mean you were just mocking me? He was looking at a big love from God Almighty. He did not hold his son. Your faith and your action must work together. There is no way you can say, I love Jesus. Even when it comes to offering. See this basket. Every Sunday, 2,000 plus. You cannot fill this small bowl with your offering. 2,000 people. I am not preaching about giving. I'm just, you know, giving you this example. Because love is not theory. Love is placard core. Make no mistake. Even if you are in a relationship and then your partner is keep on telling you, no, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. I, 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 I went there to buy some, you know, uh, shoes. And uh, what about me? No, I love you. You know that I love you. That is not proper love. Love is placatical. Love is not theory. If you love your, your brother, your sister, what you are eating, share with your brother. Share with your sister. Share with your neighbor. Abraham sacrificed his love to say, okay, 
In this case, my wife should not know this. I'll just carry the boy because I love God and God loved me so much. The one who gave me this child will defend me in this case. It was there when God now appeared through his angel that I have seen. Now, you, when you are giving offering, but when it comes to Christmas, ama shops, you won't say, fino tulela and ama potato, na yapua. Nga ninko kono kushu atashira itashani. I was watching yesterday on TV, ZNBC, where uh, the man from Lusaka was saying, I have never seen, you know, this business. I have sold more than a uh, hundred plus. All what you want is to enjoy yourself. You want to make yourself happy. You don't want to share. God has shown you that love. How many people have died from January up to today? And then you cannot think about that. The one who is caring you is God Almighty. Come on, people of God. Love is placatico. Love is what? Let me uh, conclude this. Let's go to uh, 20, 22. Yes. You see that his faith and his action were working together. And his faith was made completely by what he did. So what you are doing is what can make your faith completely. The work that you are doing. So marry your action, I mean your faith with your action. The people of this world can say, I love my neighbor, but tomorrow you see them going to court. What has happened? This is the neighbor said, no, he's stupid. I want to teach him a lesson. You, as a child of God, even where they are insulting you, where they are saying bad things about you, show them love through your action. Your faith and your action must work together. Giving is a problem. But the foundation of this world, for me, the way I understand, was laid through love. Our forefathers never paid any coin for God to create this world for them. Out of love, he created this world. And he said, okay, the beautiful earth that I've created, let me create a human being and give him this earth. That is God. You never paid any coin for you to have a farm, the land where you have built a house. No. A free gift from God Almighty. On top of that, he created you according to his image. He said, let us make man in our own image. According to our likeness. Look at animals. Elephant. Dogs. Name them. All these animals are sleeping out. It is learning. It is only you who can sleep under the shelter. You see the love of God? Only you. He never created you like a chicken. That is placard love. That is what? What can you give to him if it is not your heart? Before you give him any material things, give him your heart. Love your brother. Love your sister. Love your neighbor. Share the good things that you enjoy with your friends. Share with me. Me too, I want to eat what you are eating. <laughs> eh? Because I am your brother. I, am I not your brother? You are my mother, you are my aunt. Let us enjoy together. Let me tell you this, people of God. If the love of God was in full force all over the world, all these rumors of wars that we are hearing will not be there. Can a believer, a child of God, be happy to see his child or the, the, the son of your daughter or your brother dying in a cord of blood? No. You feel for them. But where you pick a gun, pa, 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 pa. like what happened on Christmas Eve in Nigeria, where hundreds plus people were killed by these, you know, evil men. They just entered the village. People were celebrating Christmas. 
Before you know it, papa, papa, they died while celebrating. You can't do that if the love of God is, is in you. Because what you confess is what you do. Your faith will be completed by what you are doing. Even our leaders, politicians, don't just confess love with your mouth. Placard is what you are saying. God is the one who gives leadership to anyone. Leadership is from God. Let us pluck at his love. If you know the love of God can be seen in action, then there's nothing like fighting, you know, insulting each other, saying this and that. No. Why? The love of God sees beyond human being weakness. Some of us who are here today and those who are watching me, and those who are there who are not watching me, what we have done secretly, it is enough for God to condemn you to go to hell. But here we are. It is enough for him to say, you are condemned. You deserve death. But here we are. This is my last message in this Wednesday, the last Wednesday, I mean. We are expecting a new Wednesday and a new beginning with a new character. With this message, remember that the Bible says that his faith and his action were working together and make his faith completely. He was regarded as a righteous man. Through what? Faith. And what is faith? The action of faith is love. Faith settled in our heart. But love must come out of your heart to go and reach your brother and your sister. By supporting them. Making them happy. Go to town now. You see how many street kids, even girls, before now it was boys, now you see girls. Hmm. People of God, we are sitting on a time bomb. As a church, let us rise and stand together and extend the hand of love so that there will be no street kids. Church is no longer performing their duties according to what they used to do at the time of the apostles. You remember when Stephen was appointed to be the group leader, they said we should not neglect the preaching of the word of God. Let us choose people who are full of fear, filled with the Holy Spirit, so that these will be the one who will be working on the daily distribution that is within the church. Today there's nothing like that within the church. When you carry the Bible, you say, eh, hallelujah, let's add me to more. Plug at his love. Stop lying. Love is not theory. Love is placatical. <laughs> love is what? You can't find this program in any of our churches now. Before you get any help, they will ask you, are you a member? Uh, which cell? Church, we are sleeping. We are busy talking about love. Love, love. Love is action. Love is plug at call. There are people who are not supposed to be on the streets. But no one to take them to school. You are busy. Blah, 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 blah. You are busy. Jesus yale landendi mi ale risha na bantu no kuposha bantu na balabe na bale mponte la dishilu ali pena aposho mwana wakwe That is the only thing you can do here on earth and your life will be full of joy If you can do that even when you are sleeping you sleep like a baby witches and wizards cannot even come near you because you are a mother and father of nations. If you educate
educate three, four people. Hmm. You are educating the nations. Abraham carried his son, the only son, to go and please God Almighty. And God said, no, 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 no. I'll provide for you. Remember Isaac asked the father, as they were walking, said, Daddy, I can see woods, I can this, is, I, I can see everything. But where is the lamb? Abraham said, Jehovah will provide. Indeed, he provided. They came back. Go and read the Bible. He told his workers to say, please, remain here. Me and my son, we are going there to sacrifice. He did not want his workers to see him, you know, cutting his son's neck. No, he said, for this one, it's only God who can witness this one. These are my workers. But they came back together. I'm encouraging you. Or it's a reminder or a wake-up call. Let your faith and your action work together. Stop saying you are a follower of Jesus. Stop preaching history about love. Black art is love. Anyone can preach about the history of the Bible. But it is not everyone who can black art is what? Love. If the church were to be like the way it was, I don't think so. All these street kids that we see will be there. Yes, the government is there. But it is the law of the church to extend love. This echo mweva na bakwale sa mungu tasha kwale sa mfude mwabolu pia. Tamu akasambili shabantu nendimi. Tamu akashitiri abantu bunga nendimi. Tafi bomba. Indi mishala womba kuli spiritual problem. Nga fudu. Are you going to say, ba 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 Ah, I can see you being satisfied with chicken and chips. No. Ba landro di bale shupa. Oh, my sister. Oh, di ba 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 ba. Rie, 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 rie. Don't worry, I have paid. The landro do insult even your tongues. And you are making the landro to commit what? Sin. Love is placatico. We are human beings. We are not, you know, in the spiritual realm. We are in the flesh. Although we are spirit wearing what? The flesh. This flesh need accommodation. This flesh need what? Food. The daily distributions they were having because when you go to a house of God, you see plenty food. Plenty food. Widows were just going to church to get their food. Today, when you go to church, they will tell you to say, we need to see it as a board. Love is placatico. Stop, you know, preaching history. Placat is love. Labram was considered Elisha's man because of what? His action. It is very easy to say, I am a child of God. I go to church every Sunday. You carry the Bible. You quote scripture from Genesis to Revelation. That is not enough. Let your action work together with your faith. And that action is love. Thank you. God bless you. situation must bow within my body within my house within my family every new must bow and every time must confess Jesus is Lord.